today i will talk about how to obtain blood bank license in india this is part of my series of lectures on blood banking this is my lecture outline first i will talk about prerequisites for obtaining license then various legal acts with reference to india then i will talk about licensing authorities in india and finally i will talk about procedure to obtain blood bank license so let us see prerequisites so there should be processes in place infrastructure in place and manpower for processes we need to have standard operating procedures and these are various processes with reference to blood banking there should be a process for reception and counseling of donors then there should be a donation procedure apheresis procedure component preparation there is quarantine storage before the blood and components are tested before eti then there is main laboratory for blood grouping cross matching antibody screening and coombs test and then there is tti laboratory for serology or nucleic acid testing for blood borne infectious diseases then there is blood or component storage and there is also sterilization come washing procedure there should be adequate infrastructure for functioning of blood bank this include building and space and equipments and uh, the room should be air conditioned for operations including collection processing storage distribution along with ancillary there is requirement of 100 square meters area for preparation of blood components there is requirement of 50 square meter area and for apheresis procedure there is a requirement of 10 square meter area and various equipments required for various processes which i have described in my previous slide are required manpower required into counselor or social worker then doctors who will act as the transfusion officer and a staff nurse to assist in blood donation procedure and apheresis procedure then there should be adequately trained and experienced technical staff as well as ministerial staff then what are the legal acts in india so blood banking comes under drugs and cosmetic acts 1940 it is also known as drugs and cosmetic rules 1945 the relevant schedule for blood banking is schedule f part 12b and there are various additions and amendments of drug and cosmetic act and rules then licensing authorities in india the licensing authorities in india include central drug standard control organization or cdsco they are four in various zones of india so if the blood bank is situated in let us say new delhi then it comes under the cdsco north zone then there is concerned state drug controller so these two are licensing authorities then there are other regulatory authorities for blood banking operation which includes state blood transfusion council and national blood transfusion council that is sbtc and nbtc then there are these two one is national aids control organization the other is state aid controls organization in delhi it is delhi state aids control society or dsex so what is the procedure to obtain license we need to apply for license by filling form number 27c then we get license as form number 28c for renewal of license form number 27c is required fee for obtaining license for blood bank is 6000 indian currency and inspection fee is 1500 indian currency and for any component preparation an additional fee of 300 indian national currency is required 
So what are the documents which we need to submit along with Form 27C? These include blueprint with site plan. We should include a document as a legal entity, for example, partnership deed or memorandum and article of association if the company is limited or private limited company. Then we need to submit qualification documents of all technical staff and their approval and experience certificate duly signed by the authorized person. Then uh, we need to submit list of blood bank machinery and equipments. We need to submit biomedical waste disposal agreement. We need to submit NOC from fire department. We need to submit document for ownership or document uh, uh, of premises of blood bank, which may be lease deed or rent agreement or rent receipts. And we need to include standard operating procedures. So these are the documents which we need to submit along with Form 27C along with the required fee submission. Then these are the steps. First of all, there is inspection by journal CD, SCO and state drug controller. It is joint inspection along with expert from state blood transfusion council. Then in next step, there is identification of non-conformity by the team of experts in the inspection on step one. And then blood bank need to submit the compliance and re-inspection is done after compliance submission by the blood bank. And finally, there is grant or renewal of license for blood banking. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.